We are on the hot seat with Shudit to Chatterjee. Very, very oofy, the ooh la la <laughs> man, the man behind casting of so many big productions. Now tell me, Shudit, the very important question which comes to my mind is, when a casting director is doing his selection mm -hmm. or her selection, right. what are the things you look for in an actor? Look, the basic thing is that uh, the actor should know his limitations. That's what I look into. Now, it's a subjective phenomenon. People do look like the way Mr. Chabra would look into a matter. Uh, Vicky Sudana may not look into the same way. Now, Shruti Mahajan may look in a different you know, angle. But I can say about my experience, you know, what I look into the you know, factor is that, generally, at first I take the script from the director. I try to match his vision. Uh, at times, you'll be surprised to know, uh, at times you also need actors who do not know even how to act. Then, yeah, <laughs> That's it, a good it's, one. Yeah, it's, it's a good one, actually. You know, so the guy who don't know acting, catch this man. <laughs> <laughs> Mere his skin presence is good enough. Like that completely depends on your product, on your uh, thing that you want to sell. You know, like these days this has, this has been a trend that you know they uh, most of the you know, uh, directors are opting for real life people. Today you don't need a six pack abs. Let me tell you. Yes, if you want, that's good for your health. If you want to be a star like Varun Dhawan, Ranbir Singh, the stardom, you need a Hrithik Roshan. If you want to be, then you need a six. The Greek god like The Greek god like physique. physique. Mm -hmm. But today, uh, even if you have an average look, yeah. but if you're a good actor, if you know your craft well, you are there. Best example, Pankaj Tripathi. Best example, Nawazuddin Siddiq. Absolutely. No, these are really... Rajkumar Rao. Rajkumar Rao, of course, and he has become a star, right? Very, very believable, very, natural. Absolutely. The guy absolutely. next door. Absolutely, and he can do wonders, right? So, uh, in this case, what I look generally in a person is his ability to face the camera. That's very important because I've seen some of the best, very good looking people, very smart, confident people. But whenever they come in front of camera, they become camera conscious. And it has marred the chances big time. I have seen it, you know. I've seen very good looking guys, you know, who could really kind of burn, you know, the, uh, keep the floor sizzling. But unfortunately, whenever the, the, the camera day, the, the, the chemistry with the, with the camera is, is <laughs> bizarre. Like, they haven't been able to take them as their girlfriend. Okay? As the Harsha Bogle said, the camera is a girlfriend. I have been always taking them as a girlfriend. And I have been taking girlfriends. So you only so. need to seduce the camera. Yeah. Huh? Oh, that's right. And you should know the art, okay? If you know the art of seducing uh, the camera, if you know, the camera will also will love you. Correct. So that's very important. Number two is that whether he's being, he or she is being able to match the vision of the director, what I have been instructed to. So uh, if that is matching, well, I forward his audition. And fortunately, uh, with my experience, with my with my uh, knowledge about this craft, today I can you know assure you that if I see someone's audition, if I have the script, if I have the vision of the director, nine nine out of ten times, you know, I would be able to judge whether he or she, you know she fits the role or not. And fortunately, it has happened. Well.